West Branch Board of Education is wishing the West Branch class of 2020 the very best as each of you walk across the stage and enter the next chapter of your journey. As the president of the board, I have been asked to read a short statement from each of the board members. Miss Karen Rice, my wish for you is to keep moving forward in life. This is the beginning of a beautiful life. Dream big. I saw this in a graduation card and it is so true. Before you act, listen. Before you react, think. And before you spend, earn. Before you criticize, wait. Before you pray, forgive. And before you quit, try. I congratulate all and praise you all for your efforts. Go Warriors. The next message is from Mrs. Mickey Kanagi. To the class of 2020, behind you all your memories, before you all your dreams, beside you all who love you, without you all you need. Congratulations and good luck and God bless. Mr. John Wallace. To all of our 2020 West Branch graduates, your future is very bright because you have sacrificed a lot, a lot of things to get to where you are today. We are taught that the sky should always be the limit, but you have showed us that we should truly think beyond the sky. I am very proud of all that you have accomplished despite the adversities and challenges that have been thrown in your path. What an amazing new and exciting chapter that lies ahead for each one of you. Congratulations. Mr. Aaron Hawk, congratulations class of 2020 wishing you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. I know your senior year didn't end the way any of us would have ever foreseen. However, preserving, persevering through the adversity is indi indicative of the success you will surely experience in the future. Best wishes. And lastly, my message to each of you is to allow this moment in your life to strengthen you and use it as an accelerant as you move forward and as you face your future challenges. This moment doesn't define any of you and has created a very unique period of memories that each of you will remember and share with your families for generations. You lived through a pandemic. You had many new first time experiences, unplanned online learning, a senior parade, the 2020 Be The Light campaign with special messages written on the football field and a virtual and drive through assemblies. Though this is not how anyone envisioned your final months as West Branch seniors, you and your peers across the country were all in it together. One lesson I've learned in life is it won't always be easy or expected. All of you have already seen this. However, you get to choose how you get to react to your circumstances that you're faced with, even the ones that are outside of your control. You get to find the good in each and every moment. No moments in life go by without learning. As you leave your high school years here at West Branch and enter into adulthood, you will discover that learning never ceases. Be curious and never stop asking questions. There is so much to learn in life. In conclusion, I'm planting this seed to represent the West Branch class of 2020 with a little nurturing, sunshine, water, and faith, something amazing will grow. It reminds us that it takes faith as small as a mustard seed to move past any obstacle in the journey of life. With the heart and strength of a warrior, keep growing, keep learning, and be a blessing. Best wishes to the West Branch class of 2020, and God bless each and every one of you. Before I pray, I wish to stand before you as a person with no labels and say two things. The first is a quote from Winston Churchill. It says, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the will to continue that counts. The second thing is an unspoken wish from humanity and every living person. Help us and yourself to find everlasting joy and wealth of life. 
I hope that in time, you come to understand what I wish and what everyone wishes, and that you can fulfill it in your own way. Now, should you choose, please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, I pray for the young men and women of the class of 2020 standing ready to graduate. I pray for each of us as we are sent to a world that is now in a time of need. We stand amongst others in peace as the world is plunged into anarchy. But even so, we are ready. I pray that as we live our lives, we send ripples around the world, each meant to help the world in our own unique way. No matter what we do, no matter what we know, no matter what we learn, no matter who is around us, no matter what we believe, and above all, no matter what happens, I believe in our everlasting success, and I pray for everyone to stand tall and strong for both ourselves and for those around us. In your name I pray, amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous part o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave hello i'm timothy saxton superintendent of the West Branch Local School District. On behalf of the West Branch Local School District's Board of Education, Mrs. Courtney Striefler, President, Mrs. Karen Rice, Vice President, Mr. Aaron Hawk, Mrs. Mickey Kanegi, Mr. John Wallace, and its treasurer, Mrs. Julia Rosnaya, it is my honor to welcome those viewing the commencement ceremonies for the class of 2020 of West Branch High School. I would like to thank and recognize the faculty and staff of West Branch High School, a tremendous effort and job well done. I would also like to thank the staff and faculty members from West Branch Middle School, Damascus and Knox Elementaries for the work that you have done over the years with these graduates. This has built a strong foundation for learning that has flourished over many years. My thanks and gratitude go out to our parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, or other family and friends of the graduates for going above and beyond in many ways within our school community. I would remind our graduates, to take the time to say thank you to those who have had an impact on your life and have supported you. To the members of the class of 2020, we are all proud of your accomplishments and applaud you for the many things you have done. This class has earned numerous academic, athletic, and local and or community awards. It goes without saying that adversity in our current environment has been something that you have worked through and will serve you in years to come. No matter the path you choose, this is the time for new beginnings, a chance to continue the learning over many years. I would ask that you remember where you came from, that it is okay to leave and come back. You will always have a home at West Branch High School. 
Please remember to find the balance between work and play. Go out and do great things. You all have the choice and chance to do something tremendous. Enjoy this day with friends and family. Good luck to all of you. Congratulations. And as always, go Warriors. Good afternoon, West Branch Class of 2020, teachers, staff, parents, and family. First and foremost, it is with great honor that I stand before you today to celebrate this incredible graduating class. I would like to thank each and every person who has been a part of my high school experience, including teachers, administrators, coaches, teammates, parents, and friends. Each of you have impacted me in different ways and all have contributed to making these past four years the best ones yet and making me the person I am today. And for that, I cannot thank you enough. I also would like to acknowledge how special it is for me to be sharing this honor with my twin brother, Nick. Since I am clearly the better looking and more talented twin, I only thought it would be kind to let him enjoy some of the spotlight too. So I decided to let him tie with me for being valedictorian. You're welcome. With the ridiculous amount of free time that we've all had lately, I've been thinking a lot about this high school story which I, along with my classmates, have experienced during these four short years at West Branch High School. And I guess before now, I never fully realized how powerful and extraordinary our class of 2020 really is. We as a class are composed of such a wide range of people who are each passionate about different things that it makes us unbelievably diverse and well-rounded, not only as individuals, but even more so as a whole. If we look back at events from even just this past year, we have people succeeding all over the place. We had a state title brought back to West Branch by Jameson for swimming. We had kids starting their own clubs, our boys basketball team ending a 30 year drought by winning the league title, our girls team finishing in the top four in the state, our band constantly putting on elaborate performances and crazy halftime shows, and the theater department's amazing plays drawing in the entire community. There's just always so much success going on among students of this senior class that it's made it hard to recognize and appreciate the immense amount of achievement that we all have obtained. So today, I hope you can all take a quick step back and feel incredibly proud of the many things you have accomplished so far in your high school careers and in your lifetimes, because it is truly amazing. Throughout these past four years of high school, we have all spent our time walking the halls and sitting in the classrooms of WBHS, but we have each lived our own stories a little differently. And I would say most of them go something like this. Chapter one of this story, freshman year. Walking in these doors on the first day, we were all ridiculously nervous and worried about how the next four years of our lives would pan out. You could say I was just a typical naive freshman when I got lost twice on the first day of school in this building that is so simply laid out, you'd probably think it's impossible to get lost in. As freshmen, being among people who were older than us and even intimidating at times, we found ourselves on the very bottom of the totem pole. But at the same time, we enjoyed our time as freshmen because everything just seemed much simpler. Every answer to question 10 of a history exam was C. Every football game was spent in the very back of the student section and our immature behavior was just looked upon as typical dumb freshman things. Chapter two, sophomore year. All was good because we were no longer on the bottom of the totem pole, but we weren't upperclassmen yet, so most of that year was spent flying under the radar, being overshadowed by the superiority of the juniors and seniors and the next wave of stupidity from the incoming freshman class. Chapter three, junior year. Junior year probably hit most of us like a bus. All the anticipation from the last two years to be an upperclassman was finally here. But we qu quickly learned it wasn't as glamorous as we all had thought. Classes became harder and their workload skyrocketed. Trying to balance this all at the same time was something that seemed like an impossible feat. Figuring out what we were going to do after high school also became a more prominent thought in our minds not to mention the stress of ACT testing and state testing too. And we found ourselves being relied upon more than ever before 
by our coaches, teachers, and directors for lead roles in plays, on teams, and in clubs. And while all of this was happening, we had our sights set on the upcoming year, eager to finally be a senior. Chapter four, senior year. The one we've all been patiently waiting for. The one where we graduate. To start off, we finally reached the top of the totem pole, which brought about many perks, like being able to come in late, sit in the front of the student section, and have a senior skip day, which somehow turned into a senior skip three months. We were finally the oldest in the school, so we were looked up to by all the younger high schoolers and held at a higher standard to set good examples and be leaders for others. We experienced tons of success in many of our teams, organizations, and academics, all while trying to fight off the immense pressure of letting senioritis get the best of us. Then, in the midst of all our thriving and succeeding, life decided to bring about the biggest plot twist that many of us have ever faced and ever will face again. Although it has made it feel as though the last few pages of this chapter have been ripped right out of our stories and left completely unfinished, I want to remind you that we are all still going to be standing here at some point today celebrating the biggest, biggest accomplishment of our young lives. Sure, this last chapter of high school did not end up as we had envisioned it to, but by no means is it the end of our stories. In fact, they're just getting started. And from my point of view, experiencing and getting through this crazy series of recent events has in a sense given us a head start on the rest of our lives. I think I can safely say that most people at the age of 18 have not experienced a global pandemic that caused entire countries to shut down and force everyone to stay in their homes. But we have. For something this dramatic to happen at such a young age has been a blessing in disguise. Typically, it takes an entire lifetime for people to figure out what life is all about and figure out the things that truly matter and truly bring us the most fulfillment. It's not easy for anyone to figure this sort of thing out because it usually takes the occurrence of a plot twist or a dramatic event before they finally take a step back to view life from an altered lens. Well, obviously, all of us high school and college seniors have experienced a tremendous event that has undeniably changed our lives and forced us to take a step back. The advantage from all of this is that we have been given the realization that now we can go out and live the rest of our lives to the absolute fullest. Now, we always have this event to look back on and remind us to go out and chase our dreams, no matter how crazy they may sound, and immerse ourselves in the people, places, and things that bring us the most sense of fulfillment in life. In other words, we can go out and do what makes us most happy, instead of settling for anything less. We can go out and tell people how we truly feel, instead of holding back. We can go out and not be afraid to put ourselves out of our comfort zones, instead of wondering what could have happened if we had taken that one chance. And we can go out and always stand up for what we believe in, instead of worrying about the opinions of the rest of the world. We have finally reached the end of this chapter of our lives, and although this one in particular was filled with many bad days, where the light at the end of the tunnel seemed very dim, it has always remained true that nothing great ever comes easy. It takes fighting through those bad days and deep valleys of life in order for us to reach the best days of our lives. And I have no doubt that this next chapter in all of our lives will be filled with great days, great experiences, and great success. Although we will all continue to follow our own paths and write our own different stories, we will always be united as one, as the West Branch class of 2020. Thank you. You know, being a minute older than Carl, she's been following me around for 18 years, so I figured I'd be a nice big brother and let her go first. And apparently roasting me in her valedictorian speech is the thanks I get, so, so that's neat. Anyways, good afternoon teachers, staff, parents, guests, and class of 2020. I would like to start by saying thank you to our amazing teachers who not only put in the extra effort these past couple of months to make sure we were still learning, but who supported us and helped us grow as students and as people during our four years of high school. Thank you to our staff here at West Branch for going out of their way to try and make our graduation experience as normal as possible. Thank you to all of the parents for supporting our interest and in teaching us things that we cannot learn in the classroom. 
And lastly, thank you to our community for coming to all of our sporting events and musicals, as well as contributing to all of our fundraisers. With that being said, it's really an amazing feeling to be giving this speech in front of such a large audience of people here today. Uh, as, you, as you watch this in your pajamas while eating popcorn, I would like to take a moment to congratulate all of you on making it this far. We made it. As we look at, back on the past four years, it's honestly hard to believe we did make it here. I mean, think about it. We survived the closing of Club Penguin, the dab, and those creepy clown sightings. Wow, okay, this is a tough crowd, Jeez. On top of that, we've also made some unforgettable memories. Freshman year was a year of first. Our first football game in the student section, the first class, the first dance, and the first finals week. The memories that we shared bonded us for the next three years where we grew together, both physically and mentally. Our class also saw a lot of success. In the course of our four years here, our sports programs have won over 10 league titles and have been to state eight times. Our theater department has put on some incredible musicals and our band has even played at Disney. However, with all of this success comes adversity and we have seen plenty of it. From getting rid of book bags to missing the last two and a half months of our final year together, we have been through a lot, but we have gotten through all of it together. What defines the West Branch class of 2020? To anyone outside of our class, the answer would unquestionably and undeniably be COVID-19. If you asked 100 people on the street this question, they would all reference the same thing, the same event. However, if you were to ask us, the class of 2020, the answers would begin to diversify. You would hear things like girls going to state, our soon to be Olympic swimmer, and so on. The more classmates you ask, the more you would come to realize that the coronavirus is not the only thing that defines us. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, it is important to keep this in mind. As a class and as individuals, we cannot let one event or one moment of adversity define who we are and what we stand for. Everyone encounters speed bumps on the road of life, but these speed bumps cannot stop us from reaching our full potential. Instead, we need to use these speed bumps to slow down, evaluate our actions, and use the situation we are in to grow, coming out stronger than we went into it. Famous street poet and philosopher Drake once said, tables turn, bridges burn, you live and learn. And when all, while our class has had more than its fair share of turntables and burnt bridges, I truly believe that the adversity that we have faced has strengthened the bond that our class shares. West Branch class of 2020, as we leave these doors today, do not leave behind the experiences that we have shared and the memories that we have made. Instead, use both these times of triumph and times of trial as a foundation for your future success. Best of luck to all of you in the next chapter of your lives and congratulations. Thank you. It is my privilege to present the students earning the Presidential Education Award. The students receiving this honor have made hard work and dedication a priority in their studies. This award is founded on extremely high expectations. Each student receiving this accolade must obtain at least a 3.5 grade point average and complete a minimum of 16 credits in the core subjects of math, English, science, and social studies. In addition to these credits, specific classes in each discipline must also be taken. Finally, the students are required to score at least a 25 or higher on their ACT. The following 14 students are recognized as Presidential Education Award winners. Congratulations to these individuals. Peyton Alisos. Bethany Carruthers, Abigail Davis, Claire Hedlund, Haley Jones, Sydney McQuilkin, Ashlyn Pinkerton, Hannah Ridgway, Jameson Robb, Carly Scarpetti, Nick Scarpetti, Landon Steidel, and Dana Withrick. Congratulations to those individuals. Next, it is my privilege to rec recognize the students that are receiving an honors diploma. The criteria for this award is similar to the presidential award. Students must meet at least seven of the eight core requirements to be considered for an honors diploma. Students must take four years of English, math, science, and social studies, along with three years of a foreign language and at least one fine arts. They must also have taken specific classes within each of those disciplines. They must have a 3.5 grade point average or higher and score a 27 or higher on the ACT. 
Their diploma contains a signifying mark to recognize this award. The following 28 individuals are recognized as honor diploma recipients. Peyton Alisos, Alexis Beery, Jared Butler, Bethany Carruthers, Abigail Davis, Marina Egley, Joseph Fadasco, Brogan Fisher, Blaine Flickinger, Claire Headland, Allison Heffinger, Jonathan Hitu, Haley Jones, Sydney McQuilkin, Riley Messler, Campbell Mickey, Hannah Moore, Jatine Patel, Ashlyn Pinkerton, Hannah Ridgeway, Jameson Robb, Carly Scarpetti, Nick Scarpetti, Madison Showalter, Zoe Souls, Landon Steidel, Samantha Toole, and Danan Withrick. Congratulations to our honors diploma recipients. I would now like to introduce Ms. Ms. Woods, our assistant principal, who will come forward and share remarks about the class of 2020. Today's modified graduation ceremony is the final chapter written by the West Branch class of 2020. In this video, you will see a group of young men and women walk across the stage whom you can be very proud of. All of them played an important role in creating memories and continuing the excellence found in West Branch schools. It has been my pleasure to serve as the assistant principal for the 2019-2020 school year. I've attended athletic, band, choir, drama, and other extracurricular activities. I'm impressed with the abilities and dedication displayed during each performance. Some of the accomplishments of this class include, the class has seven valedictorians and one salutatorian. Over 60% of the students in the class have participated in extracurricular activities. Numerous outstanding art, VOEG, and construction projects and awards were given. A large number of our seniors were active in the band and choir departments and excelled in a variety of shows and programs and also received superior and excellent ratings at solo and ensemble competitions. Six times this class had a conference player of the year and 31 first team all conference players. In four years, the class of 2020 had 201 scholar athlete awards, 18 conference championships, and many athletic records were broken. Six times the class had state qualifiers. Many seniors re received post-secondary credit. These students participated in numerous outstanding theater performances with their senior year performances being Mamma Mia and Annie. I think the most impressive accomplishment might be the list of scholarship award winners. Approximately $1.6 million in scholarships were awarded. And due to COVID-19, there are still many scholarships pending. Besides a personal accomplishment, the class of 2020 has demonstrated a sincere and caring attitude for others through their participation in programs such as Share Christmas, our annual blood drive, work with our local Rutans, and volunteering at various and participating in the Veterans Day program. All of these students have worked very hard and used their individual talents and strengths to prepare themselves to meet life's challenges. To the graduates, Many things were taken away from the end of your senior year. However, I hope you were able to make special memories with families, have long conversations with your friends, and make enough TikTok, TikTok videos to laugh about in your future. You have shown perseverance, courage, and strength through this pandemic. Your high school years may be over, but you have a bright future ahead of you. Remember this quote from Alice Morse Earl, every day may not be a good day, but there's good in every day. I hope you always find the good in every day. Thank you for sharing your talents and personalities with all of us and making an impact on our lives. I am genuinely proud of each and every one of you. Before the students are introduced to receive their diploma, Mr. Coffey and I would like to recognize the high school art teacher, Steve Mounts, for his outstanding artwork found on the program cover. We would also like to thank Amos Communication for helping make today's graduation even more special by donating the printing of the programs. Everyone's efforts is great, greatly appreciated. 
The young men and women that are about to be introduced have met or exceeded the requirements for a high school diploma as set forth by the West Branch Board of Education in the state of Ohio. Members of the board, faculty, parents, friends, and the entire West Branch community, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the West Branch Class of 2020. Next, Mr. Coffey will begin the distribution of diplomas. Peyton and Alisos. Ashley M. Algeyer. Mackenzie Marie Anderson. Tristan Lee Ballard. Braxton Michael Barker. Emma Jo Barnett. Reese Gregory Berger. Gage Alexander Bickley. Alexis Nicole Beery. Brianna Marie Blevins. Jessica Lee Bach. Benjamin K. Brown. Caitlin Marie Burns. Jared David Butler. Cole James Cameron. Jade Nicole Carone. Bethany Jane Carruthers. Ethan Paul Chapman. Carmen Mario Chick.
Gavin Dale Clark. Matthew K. Copeland. Joseph Edward James Kaufman. Benjamin Logan Caldwell. Cameron Carson Caldwell. Bryce Scott Henry Corson. Hayes Donald Covert. Maxwell Pierce Craig. David Lee Cruson. Dylan Nelson Daly. Madison Mary Danner. Abigail Marie Davis. Zoe Catherine Davis. Kathleen Ion Decker. Gabriel Christian Stettweiler. Abigail Eileen Downs. Caitlin Amelia Downs. James C. Dugan. Xander Joseph Dugan.
Chase Jonathan Edwards. Marina Bridget Egley. Christian Chance Eva. Nicholas Dwayne Everett. Joseph Clark Fidasco. Rogan Grant Fisher. Wayne Travis Flickinger. Curtis Ryan Flickinger. Katie Lee Flickinger. Reagan Colleen Fawner. Avery Michael Francis. Russell France Dylan Joseph Garlock Brianna Lynn Gillingham. Maria Galilea Gonzalez. Justin Robert Good. Peyton James Gott. Cody Grabowski. Bo Edward Greshaw. Morgan Lee Grimm.
Camden Marie Grinley. Maya Naomi Handy. Brandon Daniel Hardy. Hunter Hayden Harper. Ryan Lee Harris. Mason Alexander Harrison. Claire Ann Headland. Allison Nicole Heffinger. Jonathan Steven P2. Elizabeth Marie Higgins. Jacob Tyler Hurst. Taylor Ann James. Luke W. Johnson. Haley Ann Jones. Cohen Gregory Lamp. James Edward Lease Jr. Gavin Walker Gray Leak. Reese Michael Leon.
Charlie M. Loudon. Morgan Alexandria Lucas. Hunter Douglas Maxson. Joseph Angelo Meritich. Katie May Martin. Mackenzie Lee May. Maylie Hope McKay. Alexis Ann McKenzie. Matthew B. McKinney. Sydney Ray McQuilkin. Riley McKenna Messler. Campbell Geraldine Mickey. Jacob Christopher Michael. Purity Ray Millard. Aubrey Rose Miller. Cool Robert Miller. Macy Mackenzie Mimic. Caitlin Hope Mondak. Anna Lee Moore. Kenneth Leroy Morris. Olivia Adelina Musso.
Kylie Danielle Mutton. Alexis Jade Neeb. Madison Noel Cutter. Deja Marie Parks. Jatin Patel. Damian Thomas Percy. Nicholas Jean Pigeon. Ashlyn Taylor Pinkerton. Samantha Suzanne Plocker. Haley Renee Pointer. Mitchell James Prendergast. Malachi Benjamin Rastetter. Cassandra Sue Ray. Hannah Jean Ridgeway. Joshua James Reinhardt. Jameson Grace Robb. Carolyn Marie Scarpetti. Nicholas John Scarpetti. Cameron David Schmidt. Nolan Victor Schwengel.
Madison Rose Showalter. Emma Jean Lynn Simmons. Matthew James Sinley. Taylor Ellen Slagle. Destiny Marie Sorrell. Draven David Stevens. Kayla Lynn Stillion. Landon Eve Steidel. Gary Edward Stubb, Jr. Brent Joel Taylor. Matthew Todd. Samantha Jane Tool. Jesse Allen Wade. Elise Gabrielle Wallace. Braden Michael Wasoski. Angelica Maria Weingart. Dana Jolene Wilkie.
Emily Marie Wilson. Katie Lynn Wilson. Alexa Todd Wolf. Nicholas Wesley Woolmaker. Danan Frank Wuthrick. Jared Gordon Wyatt. Michaela Jean Wise. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2020.